also stop and stare, or taper off steroids. Yeah, I would taper off because I don't think it's helped much. Okay. Did the medicine help her at all up so far? Um, well, she said it, she feel better. Uh, Inside. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my problems with my dermatomyositis and pemphigus patients when they get to the last month and they're going, you know, five Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Joseph Urizzo. I am a professor, a former and founding chair of the yeah. Department of Dermatology at Wake Forest University. And I'm also a clinical professor of dermatology at the Weill Cornell Medical College in New York, New York. He's a co-author of the standard textbook in dermatology that's used by all, pretty much exclusively all students of dermatology wherever they are in the world and uh, he's considered one of the finest uh, dermatologists in the world. Uh, I'm visiting the Water's Edge Dermatology Practice, a very um, special practice with over 30 offices throughout the state of Florida. And what they've done with me over the past um, probably 10 years that I think is unique is they've invited me uh, several times per year to uh, conduct uh, what is really a very formal grand rounds. And grand rounds involves uh, having patients with complex, in this case, medical dermatology problems come and they're presented um, to a visitor, in, in this case myself, by the, the clinical team here at Water's Edge. So this is an 18, almost 19 year old young lady who I've been treating for about five months now. It's when she first presented. Yep. She had, I think about a month prior to this, um, used a mask, a clay mask that had apple cider vinegar on it, and then had developed this outbreak. And these are cases that either kind of you know what's going on, but they're not responding to typical therapies, or they're cases you just don't really have a good handle on what's actually, what the problem might be. You roll down your leg. Yeah, so it's still very red. Mm -hmm. We can't use mycophenolate in somebody who has a cancer. That would be a drug that would freak out the cancer doctors. One question is going to be whether you have athlete's foot or whether your toenail problem is just, uh, just psoriasis in the nail. Uh, there's a real interaction between the outstanding team here at Water's Edge uh, and myself. My, and the discussion um, that the team here at Water's Edge brings is at a very high level. Water's Edge Dermatology is a little different than other practices because Grand Rounds is traditionally um, set aside for teaching hospitals um, or residency programs and the fact that we do it here um, really makes us stand apart. Well I think it really shows and I think you get a lot of credit for this because it really shows that if you don't and you do too because you can't help a complicated problem unless you get the whole it's, it's beyond the skin and the mouth, right? I think for physicians it's positive because we, first of all, we get to see each other and just uh, meet with each other to make sure that we have a good uh, feeling of camaraderie um, and a team, kind of team spirit. Um, it's also good because we help stay educated. It, it is interesting because again, your first biopsy was lichenoid, right? But I'd start with twice a week and go up to three times a week and up okay. to every day is tolerated. It reminds us of some things that we may not see frequently, so it remi reminds us of the diagnosis, the proper treatment, the proper workup, and the patients are really appreciative. It gives a, a real team approach uh, to patient care. I believe it shows a commitment to the quality of care that we'd like to deliver and to the continuing you know, education to the physicians that work here. It says that, that Water's Edge really cares and really wants to go the extra mile to make sure that patients are getting the care that they 100% need and, and deserve.